Gardens in a Gardener's. Thank you for watching this video. My name is Eva, Eva Bau from the Garden of Eve. On social media, on the internet, and in my mind and in my heart. So today I wanted to talk a little bit more about healthy romantic relationships. Um, it is a topic that I've been thinking about a lot lately. I've been, I've been thinking about this um, in relation to my decision to stop dating or not date anymore and I think this video will help you understand my reasons for not dating and I will elaborate more uh, on that as well but first I want to share some of the foundations that I think are necessary for um, healthy romantic or even erotic relationships I think all too often we go into the dating scene with expecting there to be an erotic or romantic relationship without fully understanding that there need to be more foundations for um, a long-term relationship like that to happen or, you know, to be sustained. And um, that is the problem for me, why dating for me doesn't work because I see that there are more layers to it and um, I don't want to be expected to be in that romantic or erotic relationship anymore. Uh, it's not like I don't desire any of the, those things but I do desire something long term and I think if we expect um, romance or eroticism from the start then that it's not going to be a long term so let me just outline the foundations that i think are necessary for a long-term healthy relationship or love you know romantic relationship So what I think is important, first of all, number one, is universal love, which includes self-love. So um, whether that self-love um, was there first or came while you developed some sort of universal love for the world, for all humans, for all earthlings, for the planet, that doesn't really matter, as long as those are there in a combination. And I think this is very important because all too often humans feel like they need love and they are seeking it elsewhere, they are seeking it in someone else and they are chasing romance or erotic love and it will never be enough. If if that hole inside of us is not filled by ourselves. I hope that doesn't sound weird, but <laughs> I hope you know what I mean. Because I think we can only truly sustain healthy relationships when we feel love for humanity. And um, I think it's also very important we feel love for all beings that are alive on this planet and we feel love for ourselves and especially if we don't feel that love for ourselves we are inclined to chase it um, elsewhere and we will never be satisfied because the thing is if we do find someone who initially is able to feel our lack of love we probably attract someone who doesn't love themselves either so these are two broke people that try to be whole together but it doesn't really work usually because they both feel that there's never enough and that the person they found is not doing enough. They, they don't love them as much. And of course this is a generalization. Um, because sometimes it does work. Sometimes those two half people somehow become whole. But then still you have two half people. And what you want is two whole people walking through life together. And not two half people becoming one. 
I think that's just a waste because we could have have two whole people. So first, universal love that includes self-love. Then um, there is a space for genuine friendship to um, develop. And I find this friendship part very important um, because um, not because we want to develop a friendship with the prospect of having a romantic or erotic relationship, but because friendship in itself is very valuable, you know? And um, I wish that men and women could be more easily friends. I think that it's totally possible, but what I often see is that, uh, again, there is this expectation that, oh, maybe there can be more. And that's, it's, it's a bit sad for me because sometimes I just want to be friends. And what I've noticed in the past is that I just want to be friends with a man, but then I sense that there is something they, that they want more from me. And I used to be very insecure. So I noticed that they wanted more from me. And I was very, um, inclined to fulfill their wishes. So if someone wanted something from me, I would um, go along with it because I didn't love myself enough or I just wanted to be kind. And that was my way of being kind. And I know that's very, um, maybe you think that is stupid. I don't know. And it doesn't really matter because I'm not like that anymore. Or at least I try not to be. I try to notice it when, uh, when um, those feelings arise, or when I see okay, someone wants something from me, I I can pluck that out of the air very easily. I think. Um, but I try to notice it, and I try to um, feel it in myself whether I really want to um, fulfill someone else's wishes. So. Yeah, I try to, to, to sense it in myself, what I, what I really want. But yeah, again, I think it would be helpful if more people could understand the value of relationships um, without there having to be a romantic um, intention or erotic intention or, you know, expectation. It's more an expectation. So that's number two. And when there is um, a friendship developed, then there might be room for romance, which is number three. Then there might be room for romance. Um, so yeah, I think this, these two, um, universal love and friendship, are a solid foundation for romance because then um, both people in a relationship feel safe. And that's, for me, a very important um, part of romance, I think. When I, when I relate to my experiences is that um, often I only fell in love with people once I felt that there was this security, that there was this friendship. And when there wasn't that friendship, I could feel some sort of form of in love, but usually it was um, more the feeling that I would lose someone. So it was kind of mixed up. It, it was a desire that would, was formed out of fear, a fear of losing someone. And when it was a genuine feeling of being in love, there first was a relationship. Uh, there first was a friendship relationship and um, yeah, some form of universal love. Although I must admit that um, I didn't really love myself for a very long time. So still those romance relationships weren't completely healthy. Not um, how I would like them to be in the future for me or for anyone else for that matter. So after number three, romance. Then there is space to develop erotic love. 
when the friendship and romance levels are developed then we feel safe and that I think is very important for um, erotic love for a sustainable erotic love to develop and to you know continue for a long long time because what often happens as I said before is that people go into the dating scene with a prospect of having erotic love or romance or both and while they can have those experiences it's usually it usually is for a short time if you don't develop all the other layers in the relationship and that's not to say that um relationships cannot develop very fast it's not to say that uh, when you first uh, start with erotic love and later on develop all the other layers that the relationship doesn't work that it necessarily has to be in that order but i do think I do think that the order that I just provided of universal love, including self-love, friendship, romance, and then erotic love, that this is um, the most sustainable um, way of developing a healthy, long-term romantic and erotic relationship. So I hope you found my insights in this topic insightful i know maybe it's not something that you would expect from me but still uh, i've been thinking about it a lot as i said before and um yeah i've been thinking about it because i've been thinking about whether i want to date again or uh if i want to date and i decided that i don't want to date exactly because the expectation is always there of um, romance or erotic love um, without genuinely developing um, the first two bases, you know, universal love, self-love and friendship. And I, um, I just don't have time and interest anymore for such sh short-term encounters or, yeah, just trying to impress someone with my best selves and not being fully authentic and I feel like you know the problem is that it's often just a game and I don't like games I'm very honest and upfront so that's why I chose not to date anymore and instead I am focusing on self-love and friendship and may there ever be romance or erotic love that stems from that then that's fine too but first I want universal love I want to love myself more every day and I don't want to develop friendships okay thank you for watching I hope it helped you um, please look me up on social media on Instagram at the lower bar garden of Eve and I hope to see you there. If you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comments below. Like and subscribe. And I hope to see you next time. Bye. <laughs>